Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn about tree data structure. The tree is a data structure representing hierarchical data with connected nodes. If you want to show an organization employees concerning their designation in a hierarchical form, then it can be shown like this. This is an organization's hierarchy in which the topmost position is of CEO. That is Mr. Karan who has two direct reports, Ankita and Vikas. And Ankita has three direct reports, Ishita, Rakshita and Dream. On the other side, Vikas has two reporters, Rahul and Sudesh. Sudesh has two reporters, Bharti and Krishna. At last, Bharti has one reporter, that is Hirsch. Tree is an efficient way of storing the data in a hierarchical way. A tree data structure can be defined as a collection of entities called nodes, which are interconnected to represent or simulate a hierarchical structure. Tree data structure is a non-linear because elements are not stored sequentially. Instead, it organizes elements in a hierarchical structure, arranging them across multiple levels. In a tree data structure, the topmost node is called root node. Each node holds some data, which can be of any type. In the example tree shown here, the node contains employee names, so the data type would be a string. Each node contains data and a link or reference to other nodes, which are called children. Let us see some basic terms used in tree data structure. As you can see, each node in a tree here is labeled with some number. Each arrow depicted in the figure represents a connection between two nodes. The root node is the uppermost node in the tree hierarchy, meaning it is the node without a parent. In the tree shown here, the node numbered 1 is the root node of the tree. When a node directly connected to the another node, this forms a parent-child relationship. If a node is descendant of the another node, it is referred to as a child node. If a node contains any subnodes, it is referred to as a parent of those subnodes. Nodes that share same parent are known as siblings. A node in a tree that does not have any child nodes is called leaf node. It is the bottommost node of the tree. A general tree can have the number of leaf nodes, which are also known as external nodes. And a node that has at least one child is known as the internal node. An ancestor node is any predecessor on the path from the root to that node. The root node has no ancestors. In the tree depicted here, 1, 2 and 5 are the ancestors of node 10. The immediate successor of the given node is known as its descendant. In the figure shown here, node 10 is the descendant of node 5. Now let us see the properties of tree data structure. A tree is often referred to as a recursive data structure because it can be defined recursively. In a tree, the distinguished node is the root node which contains links to the roots of its subtrees. For example, in the figure, the left subtree is shown in yellow and the right subtree is shown in red. The left subtree can be further divided into smaller subtrees, each shown in different color. Recursion involves breaking down a problem into smaller self-similar problems. And this recursive property of the tree data structure is utilized in various applications. The next property is number of edges. In a tree with n nodes, there are n-1 edges. Each arrow in the structure represents a link or path. Every node except the root node has at least one incoming link called an edge. Each parent-child relationship is represented by one link. Depth of the node. The depth of the node is defined as the length of the path from the root to the node. Each edge in the path contributes one unit to the length. Therefore, the depth of the node x can also be described as the number of the edges between the root node and the node x. The root node has depth of 0. The height of the node x is defined as the length of the longest path from the node x to the leaf node. These were the properties of the tree data structure. 